Hello everyone, this week we're talking about upon what foundations are U.S. public schools built and for part of my three questions I decided to focus on oh gosh focus on my second question which is in what ways can I do my part in creating a positive environment in my classroom because I really feel that our U.S. The public schools in the U.S., the foundation starts within the classrooms, and our classrooms need to be built upon a positive environment. And so that was one of my questions that I studied, and this week I came up with a list of things that teachers can do that will create a positive environment for their own classroom. Um, because I feel very strongly that school should be a safe place for students to come. You know, a lot of times our students are in homes that maybe aren't the safest, um, and they come to school hungry, and they come to school scared. Um, and even if it's not that type of situation, students should still come to school feeling safe, feeling like they are loved, that they are valued, and that they are worth our time and our attention. And that, um, and that really just that they are loved. I really am a huge advocate for teachers loving their students, and it all starts with that relationship. So as a teacher, there are a few things that you can do. Always address their needs. Um, students are so individual and so unique um, that sometimes you need to sit down with students individually and to um, talk to them and to be there for them and to help them be open. And sometimes it's a class. I mean, something may happen and you have to address the whole class according to their needs. Um, create a sense of order. Um, the children should respect you as their teacher and so you should create your environment to be a place of order where there isn't chaos there isn't um there isn't craziness with the students and there is a level of respect towards the teacher but also that as the teacher you respect your students um something really fun is you, you should greet them outside the door every single day before and after class um recess time always greeting them there was a super cute video that i saw one time of a teacher greeting the students at the beginning of the day and he had a special handshake between each of them. And as I studied about that, it showed that those students academically succeeded because of how the teacher interacted with them and how the teacher knew their name and created a very special and unique relationship with them that made them feel loved and valued. Let them get to know you as a teacher. You shouldn't be a robot, you know, if depending on what you're teaching, what level, I'm um, in grade school, you're with them the entire year. In, in high school, you're with them for only a semester, but the students should get to know you in order so they can trust you. As a teacher, you should absolutely avoid judging completely because you don't know what's going on in that student's life. You have no idea what they're going on personally or mentally. There is no room for judgment. As a teacher, you should be that example to teach your students not to judge either. Um, be vulnerable. It goes right along with letting them get to know you. Be vulnerable to your students. Show emotion. When you're teaching a subject that you are passionate about and emotional about, let your students see that. And most importantly, celebrate success. I think a lot of teachers don't do that for their students, where they don't celebrate the success that the students had. Or maybe you as a teacher did something that you are successful. And I think that's really important for the students to see and to know that you think that. Um, to end, I just have a quote that says, Children are highly vulnerable. They have little or no power to protect or provide for themselves and little influence on so much that is vital to their well-being. Children need others to speak for them, and they need decision makers who put their well-being ahead of selfish adult interest. And that is by Elder Dallin H. Oaks. And I completely agree with that, that we as teachers have that responsibility, that we need to care for these students and to help them make decisions that are right for them and to put aside any outside source, any personal or selfish interest, but to do it all for the good of our students, to put them first and to speak for them because as a teacher, you are their voice. And I think that's super important.